hey, do you have a, a bunch of articles on your website that are short, maybe 150, 250 words, and you want to bump up the word count? Maybe you want 1,000 words or 3,000 words. Let me show you how to do that very easily with phrase. Super simple. We're going to create a new document. And if, you, if you're just starting out, you could import your URL to your existing article by clicking this Optimize Existing Content. You put in your URL, you put in your search query, or if it doesn't work, sometimes phrase, you know, doesn't crawl it correctly. You can just paste the, the content in after the fact. That's what I did. Important to have your target search query correct. This is the keyword you're going after. It's not your H1, it's not your article title. This is the exact keyword from like SEMrush or Hrefs that you wanna target. And then you'd create the document. I've already done that over here. What is recruitment marketing? We're gonna be working with that one. Here is our content that I pasted in. Very simple, 120 words, not very long. I wanna make this longer. How can we do that very easily? Let me show you. First thing I would do is determine whether or not I want this to rank uh, for SEO, or this is just like a filler article for my website. If I care about SEO and I want this to rank, and this is core content for my website, I'd spend a lot more time on this. But if it's not a pillar article, but just a supporting article, I'd spend less time. It's completely dependent on what you're trying to achieve. There's no magical button on any tool in the world that you can press that you're going to instantaneously have this 3000 word article that is 100% optimized for SEO. It doesn't exist out there. So it, it, it's going to take some manual work if this article is more important to you. So let me show you how to do that right, but also efficiently and quickly. Once phrase has, has processed this search query, phrase is going to go out to Google, perform a search, pull in the top 20 results. You need to look at the results. If you're dealing with a competitive search query, then all of the top 20 results have written probably about this topic. But if they haven't, if this is a non-competitive search query, then there's probably only 10 or 15, maybe even less than that, maybe even five results that have written an article on this topic and the rest are irrelevant. And you wanna deselect those because if you don't, what's gonna happen is the optimized section, it's gonna have the wrong stuff in there. This is all completely dependent on uh, the results that you've selected in the research section. Very few people do this, but it's so, so critically important. So go through here and deselect things that you don't think are relevant. Recruitment marketing software, find the right candidate. This is a company that sells recruitment software. This is not relevant for our search query. So I deselected it. There's a couple more I deselected. You click save, phrase will reprocess the results. The next step is, again, depending on how much time I wanna spend on this, I would find other headings that I want to put in to this article couple ways to do that. The best way is to go out to the SERP and look at what other people have. You can look at it by scrolling down in the research section and seeing their headings and seeing if anything's interesting to, to you that you want to bring in and then write about. You can also click on the outline section up here, click on explore SERP and view it this way and then add interesting things to this little list over here, this little list. Click save outline. And then what I actually did was I went to my content brief section and I pasted in this entire outline right here. And then I can go back to my My Content section and click Split View, and I can view that right here. So these are different headings that the SERP talked about that I think are interesting that I would want to put in some way, shape, or form into my article. So as an example, should a business do marketing? That's a good heading right there. Easy ways, oops ways to use marketing. When I type fast, I can't spell. Let's do five easy ways. And we can do paid, paid advertising, subject matter experts, newsletters, owned channels. Okay, else? Let's do six best there we go. Get some strategies in here. And we're going to do email, nurturing, display advertising, social media, job boards. Okay. This will get us started. Again, if I want to spend more time, I can bring more of this stuff in here. But this is, this is good enough for this video. Next thing I would do is I would use the AI. The AI is a great jumping off point. 
you know, you can have it write your entire article for you if the article is either a, for a non-competitive or very, very low competitive search query. But for a competitive search query, you're going to have to dig into the research and dig into the optimized section to, to really optimize your article from an SEO perspective. And no AI, again, is going to have that little button where you press and it's going to write the whole article and it's completely optimized and researched and everything. That's a pipe dream. That is not here. I don't know if that will ever be here, but that's not here right now. I, I highly recommend if you have not used my templates, use my templates. They are completely free. I've spent 300 hours making them. I'm going to say they're amazing. I use these things to write content that ranks online. You should use them too. They're completely free. You can find all my templates going to ARWrite community template section and put in the letters RT in brackets. These are all my templates. First thing I want to do is I want to beef up this introduction section. So let's click on our intro generator. We put in our title and we click generate. This isn't bad, but I want to kind of beef this up. It, recruiting is the most important part of any company. It takes years to build a great team, but only minutes to lose one. In order to recruit top talent, you must first attract them. This means you need to get noticed. But how do you get noticed? By using recruitment marketing. Recruitment marketing is a powerful way to attract top talent to your organization, blah, blah, blah. In this article, I'll share my recruitment marketing tips that will help you attract top talent and get the job done faster. Awesome. Let's just delete what we had here. I want a little bit of a definition though. So we want to use this template called answer the question and we're going to put in our question. What is recruitment marketing in our context? This is important. I'd probably say marketing is our context. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we get a nice featured snippet type of answer <clears throat> that we can paste right in here. Let's see, recruitment marketing is any type of marketing that involves recruiting employees. It includes things like advertising jobs on job boards, hosting career fairs, and posting ads on websites like monster.com. These methods are used by recruiters to attack potential candidates to apply for open positions. That's a kind of a cool definition. You could load more if you want to, but I think that works right now. So why is recruitment marketing important for, for employee, employers? So this is a cool paragraph we have right now. I don't want to completely delete it. So what we're going to do is use another template. I'm going to say next paragraph. Now there's two in here, next paragraph and next paragraph with keywords. If from the optimized section, you pulled in keywords that you want to talk about, you could use this one, but we don't have any keywords at the moment. I haven't, haven't spent the time to do that. So let's just use the next paragraph one. It requires a couple inputs. What is recruitment marketing? That's our H1 our H2 and our current paragraph. Put that in, leave the creativity at one. All of my templates tell you what creativity to set it at. Run template. There we go. Employers who invest in recruitment marketing are able to attract more qualified candidates, increase employer retention rates, and reduce turnover costs. You can even put that in there. So we have three, uh, two new paragraphs now. Recruitment marketing provides a blueprint for employers to build and showcase their employer brand and enhance brand awareness. Just as it is important for businesses to elevate brand awareness for co consumers, it is equally vital to promote the brand to prospective team members. Employers who invest in recruitment marketing are able to attract more qualified candidates, increase employee retention rates, and reduce turnover costs. See how easy that is to create a next paragraph for an existing paragraph. Really easy, really easy to do. Now, should a business do recruitment marketing? So we have nothing here. Let's uh, let's go back to our paragraphs from scratch and let's use the original version here. This is going to give us thinner paragraphs, but some, some really good output probably. So should a business do recruitment marketing? Here we go. So I don't want to take all this and what's nice about phrases, you can select what you want. If you're unsure whether or not you should use recruitment marketing, ask yourself these questions. So this is great. So I can probably make these. There we go. If you're unsure whether or not you should use recruitment marketing, ask yourself these questions. Do you have enough work to fill open positions? Are there any special skills that you need? Is there a shortage of skilled workers in industry, et cetera, et cetera? If you answered yes to most of these questions, then recruitment marketing may be a good fit for your business. Awesome. All right. Now here's the next one. Five ways to use recruitment marketing. Let's, let's do a listicle. Let's do that. So RT, listicle with paragraphs. A lot of times this thing right here is going to generate an intro for us. And I would use this as a standalone article, 
but you can also use it for subsections. Let me show you how. So five easy ways to use recruitment marketing. So watch this. Awesome. Look at that crazy amount of content. Let's take this and paste in our five. Actually, let's do six. Let's just paste it all in. Okay. So this can be our H3. This is our H3. This is our H3. Wow. Look at that. Five easy or seven easy ways to use recruitment marketing. Look at that. And actually, we can paste this in too. So we have like a mini article inside of this article. That's awesome. So we're at 976 words right now. Let's let's do some more. Paragraphs from scratch. We'll do the alternative version. Is recruitment marketing a practice or is it a profession? All right. Here it said it's both, but what does it really matter? And now six best recruitment marketing strategies. So we did the listicle before. We're not going to do that again. We're going to do paragraphs from keywords this time. So here is our H2 best recruitment marketing strategies. And here's our title. And here are our keywords. Email nurturing, social media, job boards, leave it at that. So now the AI is going to write about best recruitment marketing strategies by using these keywords, the email nurturing, social media, and job boards. Let's paste the, the whole thing in. Recruitment marketing strategies are designed to attract and retain top talent. They're used to build relationships with candidates, create awareness of your company, and generate leads. The most important or effective recruitment marketing strategies include email nurturing, social media engagement, and job boards. That's exactly what we told it to write about, and it's writing about these things. And it's doing it in this phenomenally coherent and written <laughs> bunch of paragraphs. I can't, even, the words aren't even on the tip of my tongue. Look at that, that's great. It, at the end it says, in brief, recruitment marketing strategies are used to attract and retain top talents. I'm sorry, when I get excited, I talk really fast and the words just don't come out as fast as my brain is thinking. Let's put a conclusion on here and be done with this. So here's our conclusion. And as you guessed, we have a conclusion template. We have two. There's basic and advanced. Advanced is going to give you more output, but it's probably going to take more generations because sometimes the AI gets confused and writes an introduction instead of a, con a conclusion. If you want something shorter that basically always says in conclusion, then use the basic version. But we're a little bit adventurous. We're going to do this advanced version and we need our article title. What is recruitment marketing? Follow the directions. Very easy to use. Might have to do a couple generations. Fantastic. Right off the bat, we get something great, 101 words. In conclusion, recruitment marketing is a type of advertising that focuses on attracting potential employees rather than trying to sell products to existing customers. This means that instead of targeting individuals who already know about a company, recruiters focus their efforts on finding candidates who haven't heard about the company yet. And if you don't like that, you generate again. Generate until you get something you want. Look, we've written this whole thing using AI. You can stop right here. And this might be good enough. I don't know how competitive the, the keyword that you're going after is. If it's not a competitive keyword or it's medium competition, this might be good enough. But if it's more competitive, now you would want to go to the optimize section and optimize this more. And you could say, okay, I need to talk about passive candidates. How do I talk about that? You click on it, you can see where the, the competition was talking about this and you can then bring that into your article. The world's your oyster. You can spend as much or as little time as you want to on this. But at the beginning of this, I said, look, how can we quickly bump the word count up from 150 words to something more? We're at 1300 words right now. It would really be easy to create a bunch more H2s, pump out a, a ton more content, and in 10 minutes, we could be at 3000 words. Hope that showed you how to do this. If you have any questions, drop by the official phrase Facebook group, tag me. My name is Matt Zimmerman. I'd be sure to, to answer your question or just drop a comment below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you later.